Hello everybody. Welcome to Joanne Ralston Art. I love you, all of you out there watching. I greatly appreciate it. Um, I wouldn't be here if you weren't here. So I, I appreciate you guys so much, so much. I'm, I'm going to do another fork pour. This is number three. Um, I, I thin down the paints a little bit so that they would go through the prongs better, but I didn't go as thin as I had the first fork pour, but I did go thinner than the second fork pour. Um, also, um, I took out the aqua color and um, substituted, what did I substitute? Or what am I gonna substitute? Oh, and I can't remember what it is, but it's this color. <laughs> if I can remember what it is. Um, was it a Pebio? Yeah. Pebio Violet Blue is what it is. And the other colors are the same as the last video, except the Prussian Blue, I added some Payne's Gray into it to make it a little bit darker. Um, the Phthalo Green, I just added a little water like I did the rest of them. Um, the Metallic Purple, um, just a little water. The yellow's the same. It's the fluorescent, blick fluorescent yellow plus um, TLP submarine. And it didn't show up at all in the video. And then I've got black and white from Amsterdam, uh, oxide black and titanium white. And then the 24 karat gold from Deco Art. Um, one thing that I cut out of the other video that I want to put in this video for you guys. This is a little mini torch. Um, somebody, oh, we were at a family gathering. Somebody, I can't remember who, and I was talking about my torch dying. They said, go to the vape stores, vapor stores, where they sell that stuff and they have these little mini torches. They're awesome. Um, let me turn her. Ah, flame lock, there we go. But they're just little thing and they've got a lock on it and you feel the same way with butane. Um, Anyway, handy to have when your good torch dies. So go to the vape store. I think it was $7.99. So it's, it's well worth it to tuck in your drawer to have um, for torch purposes when your big good one dies. So I got me one and uh, my uh, big torch finally came in the mail. So, you know, keep that in mind. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get started. And I've lost, there it is. We're going to pour a cup and do the fork thing again. But I think I'm going to do it four forks this time instead of five. So, let's get down to the canvas. And I thank you. I'll see you there. Okay, we are down to the canvas. Here's our cup we're gonna pour in. And this is a 16 by 20, like the last one. And it, uh, oh, you can see the wet spots there. They're drying, they will dry with the paint. Um, 
I had to spray the back and I had to spray and get water down in those corners because they made creases when I sprayed the back. Um, so anyway, 16 by 20, it's taped, it's sprayed, it's ready to go. And we're ready to go. I am going to start, like I always do, on pour cups with, oh, I didn't get that thin down as much as I thought. Anyway, my 14, 14, 24 karat gold. And then we'll drizzle some white. And I forgot to thin this down, but it won't hurt it. It will not hurt it. All right. And we're gonna do just like the last cup. I am going to make this work yet. There is our Prussian blue with um, some Payne's Gray. And do you know that's the first time I've used Payne's Gray? All right, then we're gonna put some purple which is the metallic purple. Let's see, and I'm going to put down some of the yellow. Let me put a little more back there. And then the phthalo green. meant to put some black between the phthalo and the yellow, but that's okay. Um, I'm not real sure if I want black in here, but we're going to put a little. Just a little. And then, no, I already put that in there. Let's not get carried away, Joanne. All right, then we're gonna put some gold. And we're gonna put some white. some of the Prussian blue. All right, we have our cup ready. Let's set that out of the way for a second. And let's get our fork. And I'm gonna put four this time. I don't want it exactly symmetrical with the corners. Um, yeah, that's how I want it. All right, here we go. I'm just going to do a straight pour again and turn the canvas. This is a lot easier for me. I can't... <laughs> do ring pours very well. So, and hopefully I'll get this right this time. It's a pretty cup. So is my last one. I was just really tickled. But that aqua and the um, phthalo green just blended too much and it was just too much aqua. And it kind of overtook all the other colors. Now we'll see what happens. I um, wanted that pink in there. Oh. 
this one's going to be more towards the green end. I'm not exactly staying in the center, center, and that's me because I can't. Just can't do it. And I didn't get all the fingerlings like I did the last time. I'm going to slow this down and see. kind of center I can make myself get. just needed to come closer to the canvas. Alright. Let's get ready for that dismount. I'm gonna fail. Maybe I succeeded. Okay. Not too bad. Oh, 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 I see some coolness. I may be going too slightly. I don't want those forks sliding out, but I want... to spread out just a little bit before I take the forks away so that the what is in the middle has time to go through the prongs. Let's go on just a smidge more. It is moving because you can see beside the forks. All right. Now, I'm going to be a lot more careful. Much better. I think, I do believe, for those of you who are going to try it, come right here where the fork is bowing up and slowly lift that up and then bring it up and back. I think that gets you the better lift and effect that you want. And I seem to have forgotten that from the first video because that's what I did. All right, let's let that sit there a minute. You can see where they went through, the paint went through the prongs 
Oh, and the sparkle of that 24 karat gold in the painting is just awesome. All right, we're going to spin her a little bit. Paint guard. I'm not going to whip it, but I do want it to go. Okie dokie. Now, I want you to take a look. And I'm not picking this up, you guys. You're going to have to wait for dry results. Because every time I do that, to show you, I, I mess up and I do something. So, I'm going to point from here. Um, here's where the center was. And you can't even, um, tell where I did my little tree ring there to fit, to, to finish off the center. And it's right here, I believe. So it slid clear over here. Here is prongs. And there's lines and then we've got some really they're they're boulder cells but if you look at it and I hope it dries that way it's kind of like a water reflection it's really cool here is the fork prongs right here and then it goes off and the area where the fork prongs are it's greener. It's a deeper green. And then you see the purple through the lines. I am fascinated with how that white it blended in there and it made it like water reflections. It's really, really cool. And I'll be able to show you that more up close when this is dry. You can see lines of the dark green in this part and lines of the blue and lines of the purple. It stayed more separated. Flowing through the prongs, the initial part is separated, but then when it came on through, the green kind of went one way and the blue went one way so it's really neat looks like a river going down through there i like this one i like it a lot i'm i'm disappointed that the yellow didn't come through but Whatever it did do, it did it nicely. Um, Cause I really wanted that yellow in there. But yellow, yellow tends to disappear in fluid art a lot of times. Um, sometimes it stays, majority of time it disappears. At least that's what I have found. So. Well, there's another fork pour, fork pour number three. I will do something different next one, <laughs> I promise. I just had to get this out of my system. It's like the catalyst, I had to do two. I had to do a small one and a big one. And with this one, I just, 
I had to get it exactly the way I wanted it. It's still not there, but it's close enough that I can, I can let it go and do something different. So anyway, stay tuned for dry results. And thank you so much, so much for being here for me. I appreciate it. Bye-bye. Hi, everybody. Here we are for dry results. And I'm pretty happy with this one, even though it's darker. It's really pretty. And once again, it's darker for you than it is for me. For me, it's got a darker turquoise and the green. For you guys, it's darker blue. But anyway, there's where one fork was and the fork prongs. And look at the lines in there. It's just so beautiful. And look at all the reactions in that paint. Once again, every single paint in this video was mixed with mix pour and I got all these cool reactions there's another fork there was my center where I'd stopped it and there's another fork look at those lines and all those big cells the boulders look at that is that not cool oh you guys you gotta try it it's got some cool effects when you do this but like I said I mean this is real turquoise -ish, turquoise each green a darker turquoise and you guys are seeing blue but is that not beautiful I just love it so now I want to show you all three at once. Hang on. Okay, that's a shadow down on that middle one. That's not the paint. It's a shadow. Okay, here's all three. Tell me what you think. Which one's your favorite? I'll come in close so you can see. Like I said, this one's very turquoisey. And then that's a shadow up here on the top. I apologize. But there's the design in it. And then here's the last one. What do you think? Which one's your favorite? know in the comments which one you ended out liking the best okay everybody like share comment subscribe if you're new I'd appreciate it and like I said comment down there and let me know which one's your favorite take care take care of you take care of each other and spread the love and spread that love of art everybody take care bye bye